It is a new week at Breakfast at Tracy's where we have been entering the kingdom, looking at the many ways God describes what is both already here and what also will be coming. This week we are looking at belonging. This is a promise in the kingdom. Deep down inside of all of us, we want to belong. We want to belong to someone. We want to belong in our families. We want to belong in our churches. We want to belong in our groups, our associations. We want to be part of something greater than we are. On that note, one of the things that many of us get is a passport. A passport tells everyone where we belong. Some of us have Canadian passports. Some of us have dual citizenship and have more than one passport. Some of us are like James Bond and we have a hidden compartment in our luxury hotel rooms with about a dozen up-to-date passports. And thank you for joining us, James. Having a passport and belonging to a country entitles you to certain privileges. For example, if you need help in a foreign country, your passport at your country's embassy entitles you to certain rights. A foreign Canadian embassy will help you in a medical emergency. And if you are the victim of crime, they will also replace your lost or stolen passports and will contact family members to assist in sending you money. And in my case, they'd also likely wish me luck with that. Plus, many other services. Having a passport, having citizenship, is a safeguard. It says you belong. It says you have rights. It says we will take care of you. So keep that in mind as you listen to a song about the kingdom. Psalm 87 says, on the holy mountain stands the city founded by the Lord. He loves the city of Jerusalem more than any other city in Israel. O city of God, what glorious things are said of you. Okay, just warming up, laying down the setting for what comes next. I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Also Philistia and Tyre and even distant Ethiopia. They have all become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship here. And the Most High will personally bless this city. When the Lord registers the nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. If this song had a title, it would be, You Belong. What fascinates me is all the countries that are included as citizens in Jerusalem, the dwelling place of God. These are arch enemies, Egyptians, the Philistines, Babylon, Tyre. These are countries that exploited the Jews, hunted the Jews. And here is God giving former enemies the rights of citizenship wherever they are, even distant places. The profoundness of this is found in the New Testament, where we are told that once we were enemies of God himself, you and I. Even still, while we lived in rebellion, God saved us. Once we treated God with contempt, but he rescued us by the cross and extended to us rights we didn't earn. The belonging of being citizens in the city of God. Once, the gospel says, you were a foreign enemy. But now you are one of us. You belong. You belong. Enter the kingdom, Breakfast Club. In the kingdom, your past doesn't matter. You may at one time have been an enemy, but now, now you are welcome in the kingdom. Let's pray. Our Father, thank you that we have been given the rights of citizens in the kingdom. Thank you that you granted that right to all of us who were at one time your enemies. 
our king. If there is anyone watching this who has not received that gift of citizenship by turning from their sins and bowing their knee to you, may you give them the courage to do so now so that they would also belong in the kingdom, not as a foreign enemy, but as a welcomed citizen. Amen. All right, that is the start of our week. We're looking at belonging this week. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care, everyone.